Today I'm cleaning the whole entire apartment using only Lotox products. A lot of them will be DIY. I'll share the recipes. It's going to smell so good. There's going to be a lot of essential oils. Let's get started. Starting with the carpet deodorizer, I'm just adding two cups of baking soda to a glass jar and 20 drops of grapefruit essential oil. I love how uplifting and citrusy this one is. So I'm sprinkling it on the carpet, letting it sit for two hours, and then I'll vacuum it up at the end. And now it's time to do the dishes. I'm using Jusu dish soap. It's plant-based, low-tox, and scented with essential oils. Another option would be to DIY your dish soap using water, castor soap, and lemon essential oil. Lemon essential oil is a natural degreaser, so it really helps get rid of that grease buildup on your pots and pans. The carpet deodorizer is multi-purpose because you can also use it to keep your sink really clean, especially if you have a garbage disposal. It'll keep it smelling nice and fresh. And now for the glass cleaner, which is also the multi-purpose cleaner. Just combine one cup of water, one cup of vinegar with 15 drops of lemon essential oil. You can use this to clean your windows, your mirrors, countertops, bathroom countertops, and even in the shower. And you can use it to clean your window sills. And for a bonus, add a drop of peppermint to keep insects out of your house. The most unfun part of cleaning is definitely the shower. This is soap scum from a charcoal soap and I used these bath salts the other day and they left this really disgusting scum. Let's get to this. First, I'm spraying the shower with the all-purpose cleaner and then I'm going to sprinkle it down with baking soda, just plain baking soda. And now it's time to scrub. And now it's done, sparkling clean using just vinegar and baking soda, essentially. And now to the bedroom with one of my favorite hacks. This is gonna have the bed smelling so good. It's just baking soda. And then I added 10 drops of geranium and ylang ylang, but you can add any essential oils that you want. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the bed that will go underneath the sheets. It's been almost two hours, so now it's time to vacuum up the carpet deodorizer. Lastly, finishing up laundry and using the dryer sheets. These are also DIY with vinegar, essential oils, and a thin piece of cloth. I have a full video dedicated to laundry DIYs that you can check out in the description. For more non-toxic alternatives, check out my other videos. And if you like this one, please like, comment, and subscribe.